So we are cozy and comfortable in the home. A casserole is in the oven baking away. And a nice warm fruity drink is what's needed. At least that's what we had. And it was called compote. So lots of fruits, fresh fruits. In this case, apple. And I put everything in there because then we'll strain some cloves. And I just put the cloves in here so I don't have to fish them out after. That's good. Oranges and lemons, either or. Just a thin kind of layer of the skins of oranges. We put the juice right in here. The lemon and dried fruits. This was especially in the winter because we had dried fruits. You know, we dried figs, we dried cherries, raisins, grandpa dried, prunes, and that's what we did compote with. We did uh, desserts for the holidays, all these dried fruits. So here I have some dried figs, dried cherries, apricots, and this was specifically we used fruits that were kind of a little bit over the peak, uh, that were either bruised a little bit or something, make a good compote. So no wasting anything. If that fruit has a little bruise or something, don't you throw it away, make compote. Some raisins, prunes. Italians are big eaters of prunes. They love their prunes. Cinnamon stick, some sugar, or sometimes honey also, and about two quarts of water. and you cover it and you let it perk, perk away until it reduces about one third. When you cover it like this and you get a big boil, lower it just a little bit because you don't want to break up all the fruit. Because at the end, you'll have the delicious juice, but you will also have the fruit, the poached dry fruit and all of that, which you can save for breakfast or eat as you like. Well, uh, a compote, a fruit compote, uh, was something, especially in the winter, that was always kind of on grandma's wooden stove. Water and the dry fruits that she dried, whether it was figs, raisins, prunes, apricots, and the addition of fresh fruit that sort of were in the cantina, whether it's apple, quince was a big one. And the whole thing kind of cooks away. It was a great welcoming in the aroma when you open the door. Guests knew that they were in for a treat. It kind of said, welcome, come in, have a nice glass of compote. So the compote should be ready. Yes. Mmm. Wow, what an aroma. Let's fish out all of the fruit and loads of delicious fruit. Okay. This is a beautiful dish. Warm is good ice cream as is. You can put it on ricotta, you can put it on cottage cheese. I happen to like the actual compote that this makes. You know, it takes me right to my childhood. Whether we had dried fruit, quince, apple, especially in the winter, pears, all of that. Compote was made and it was a special treat. A little bit of honey or sugar in there and we would sip it especially if you had a cold or to warm you up or when you came in from the cold and it was raining out and all. This kind of was cure it all comfort. Just like this, you can add some sugar, but I think this is just sweet enough. You know, sometimes I do it with wine, salute. This time I'll do it with compote. Mm, delicious, fresh fruit and you know, uh, with all that we drink today, this is just pure fruit, sugar you could put, you could not put. Uh, so they're pure flavors. Try to make it. You'll love it. <laughs>